How long you been doing hair? Um, for like three years. Yeah, that's cute. Can you turn around for me? Yeah. But isn't it a blessing to have someone care about you? Someone who worries about your happiness and wants to always be by your side? You know, I'd like to think someone cares for me that way. You got a crush on somebody, huh? It's all right, don't worry. <laughs> when you do fall in love with someone, I promise. I'll be rooting for you. Are you hmm. Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I was just trying to work out if I give a darn. <sighs> So was it serious? Yeah, you know, things were moving along. We'd moved into a hideout together. Uh, what are you doing now? Oh, just looking for a darn to give. Were there others? No, of course not. You're Take this. I'm afraid that's all the darns I have to give. <laughs> Hey, wait! I'm having one of those things. You know, a headache with pictures. An idea? Mm-hmm! Tal vez sea una chica muy atractiva con un montón de dinero. Gobiernate, princesa grumosa! ¿Qué pensaría tu novio Brad si te viera? Brad y yo rompimos hace mucho tiempo. <gasps> es mi oportunidad. Ya quisieras. Another Arabian night. Arabian night. Cut my best friend finna. She finna. Oh, go best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. This would make a really awesome cosplay. Oh, damn. All right. Wait, wait, we got here. Yeah. Yes, there we go. You know what I think? I think you're a fucking faggot. This gun isn't very heavy. Something just happened.
devil is real. He's not a little red man with horns and a tail. He can be beautiful, because he's a fallen angel, and he used to be God's favorite. <laughs> we gonna have a problem? You got a bone to pick? You've come so far, why now are you pulling on my dick? I'd normally slap your face off, and everyone here could watch. But I'm feeling nice, here's some advice, listen up, biatch. Okay, let's rock this bitch. It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. Oh! Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. That is so fetch. You want to do something fun? You want to go to Taco Bell? You dirty little liar. Oh no, she did not. A few moments later. Mari 
ditinggal ya. Ya, ya, ya. Sepana gigo. Ah, bodoh bodoh bini wes. Bos, I'm coming. Ayo bos, aku wes siap. Aku wes mari perform. And I'm at home, you're probably confused by the background, in Iceland, in my childhood bedroom, getting ready for Christmas. Dunning. You can probably tell my brother's changed a lot around here. There's mostly just his camera stuff in here. This is like a studio now. It's not really my bedroom anymore. So in Iceland, I feel like it's the same with all like Nordic countries. The 24th is the main event. That's the day when we open all the presents. We have a really nice dinner. We dress up, open the presents after dinner. And then on the 25th, you might do like a dinner with your extended family or like a lunch or something. But the 24th is the main thing. It always feels a bit weird to be back, to be honest. I feel like people who don't live in their hometown will relate or like not in their home country even it always kind of feels like nothing's changed and everything's the same but also i feel like i've missed a lot if that makes any sense at all by the way do you guys want to see my setup right now you're literally balanced on candles and toilet paper and this is my mirror <laughs> but anyway so tonight i want my makeup to look really good we usually dress up quite a bit for christmas eve my grandma comes over we have dinner and then after dinner we open presents and then usually after the presents we will change into pajamas or something my skin's been so dry since I came here because of the cold so I really hope I can make this work this foundation is quickly becoming one of my favorites like look at this so good let me tell you a bit more about Icelandic Christmas traditions so yesterday was Thorlaksmasa which is the day before Christmas Eve on Thorlaksmasa basically you just get ready for Christmas a lot of people go last minute shopping we live right in the city center of Reykjavik so basically just down the road is like where all the people go shopping the stores are open really late and everyone just kind of goes around buying last minute presents and it's really cute and fun and then a lot of people eat a specific fish which is really disgusting it's called skata I don't know what it's called in English I asked my brother and he said it was called skate but I don't I don't believe him I think he's lying to me it's basically like a really flat fish and it's made in a weird way so it smells so bad I've never tried it actually but a lot of people go to parties eat that add out the creases set with powder I think the point of it is so that people will like actually enjoy their Christmas dinner more by having something kind of disgusting on the 23rd we usually just have like a normal fish that we actually like although my dad has had the skata a few times but then we usually make him eat it on the balcony because it smells so so disgusting in iceland we also have 13 santa clauses kind of and basically 13 days before christmas so from the 11th till the 24th kids will put like their shoes in the windowsill and then the santa clauses come every single night and give them like a little present in the shoe basically if you've been bad if you haven't been good you'll get a potato in your shoe i can very proudly say i don't think i ever got a potato in my shoe but the santa clauses are a bit mischievous as well i don't know who gave them the right to judge they do different things so for example there's one called like Hrdaskettle, which means door slammer he basically goes around and like slams doors in your houses when you're sleeping and then there's one called kit krogur which basically means that he has a little hook and he like steals people's meat like food weird but worst of all is their mother the santa claus's mother her name is grilla she's like a troll woman basically and if you're really bad like you you've been really bad you've gotten plenty of potatoes she will come and take you to the mountains and eat you like actually eat you lips lip oil i'm gonna go help my mom with the cooking and then i will be back once i've done my hair and my outfit and show you the finish look all right this is the finished makeup hair and this is my dress and then i don't have on any shoes because i'm at home so why would i wear heels bye and merry christmas